What's up, it's Becky. I'm actually here in Denmark with some people that you may have seen before in my videos. <laughs> they are exchange students who are in Japan with me and I'm visiting them because they're my best friends. Oh, and they're yeah. awesome. Oh, and please you. introduce yourself. Uh, hi, my name is Louisa and... We call her Roro. Yeah, Roro. And I was an exchange student from Sweden. Yeah, my name is Asta. Uh, I'm here from Denmark and these two people are visiting me. We're going to do a video about advice we want to give to future exchange students. Some of the things I want to say to future exchange students is spend as much time as you can with your host family. Even if you don't like them, you might turn out to like them. Yeah. I think. <laughs> join a club at school. Or if, you're, if your schools have club, clubs, join a club. And if they don't, like try to find like local clubs that you can join, like maybe swimming or soccer or something. If you, if you join a club and you turn out not to like it, you can always change. So. Like, Don't be scared to change. No, but find a club that you want to go to and, and like go stay, to stay committed. Like, my advice would be to, to get lost as much as you can because you'll discover new things and plus if you're with other exchange students it'll be nothing but fun. Yeah, yeah take chances. Like don't don't just sit in the classroom and like wait for people to come up and talk to you. They will though. Yeah, they, they <laughs> will. And you'll be like you'll be very interesting like the first like couple of weeks. But after that, like you get like you're they become bored with you if you don't do anything. They yeah. get used to you. There's not like, oh yeah, that's the foreign exchange student. Yeah, she's been here, we know her. And yeah. Try to talk to people and like don't stay just in like your group of like friends, but like try to get to know other people in your class and like outside of class and stuff. Yeah, because you make friends and you'll be a lot happier if you have friends than being lonely. Yeah. Yeah. Because lonely starts lonely. Yeah. And then you'll be like, like oh, I want to go home. Oh, no. Yeah. It's like, be really sad when, and ruin your whole year. Don't be afraid to talk to your host family if you really like them. I mean, if you don't really like them, I guess you could talk to Rotary. Don't be afraid to talk to Rotary because there's always someone to help yeah. you. Yeah. So, like, talk. Talk with someone. Tell someone. Even if your language is not great, yeah, tell try. them. Either you like it or you don't like it. Like they'll listen. Uh, and usually, like if it's like if it's just like a bad host family, they're like, oh, we don't get along that well. Like I have a certain cur curfew that I don't like. Like that's things that you have to deal with. Yeah, but you can't. But if it's like yeah. whole like host families where like uh, your mom's an alcoholic or something, like that's a problem. Like there's. There's Big, small and bigger problems. Yeah, I, there was a lot of exchange students complaining, oh, my host family won't let me stay out uh, past 11. And 11 was our curfew in Japan, because high school students have to be, well, high school students usually have to be in by 11. So curfew is a curfew, so don't just complain about your curfew, because that's, that's not an issue, you have to live with it. Yeah, that's, that, that, that's just their culture. The Eat people. everything. Yeah, try, try everything, everything <laughs> and try it again. Like if you eat something the first time and you don't like it, like don't 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 just be like, oh, you know, you try it and keep trying things even if you think you don't like it. Yeah. But don't be scared. Don't be vegetarian in your own country, but when you go on exchange, you should probably think about changing a little bit. Just you know, yeah. trying. At least you can be vegetarian. Just try everything else. Listen in class, kind of. Try to. Listen. <laughs> yeah. Something I regret is because during class, like since you don't understand anything. Like or in the I, beginning. I, yeah, in yeah. the beginning. Like I didn't do any tests or anything. No. Which I don't regret not doing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't regret not having homework. No. Yeah, but That's a good like thing. try to like try to take notes during class. Try to like write stuff off the board and like ask the teacher. Like you won't get like it's not possible to write everything down because they write like really sloppy and everybody's really in a quickly hurry. compared to you. Yeah. Everybody's in a hurry and you don't understand, but try to write stuff down because like even if you might not understand it like you still get to practice like your writing and also um, in Japan like um, try to keep a journal or for any country try to keep a journal because it's or really a blog fun. is popular yeah okay, but a diary to like write your own thoughts hey when you when people write blogs I see sometimes sometimes I think you need to keep some some things to yourself yeah if you have a blog if it's public like yeah. keep a diary so you can put personal things because you don't want to put things and then one day someone finds it who was there and maybe it's your host 
parent or close sibling yeah. finds the blog and you're saying something really mean about them and it's not really like nice. yeah but it's so important to like ventilate ventilate vent yeah. vent, vent. <laughs> to vent your or rant yeah to express like, your I never thoughts. ranted in any videos because I knew that people from Facebook and people because everybody watches everything now yeah. everyone yeah. sees everything so be careful what you put on the internet because you can't take it down once it's there no like Otherwise, I, just like record a video of yourself randomly and watch it yourself and be like, oh, a good. This is not going anywhere. Make a video like of you like when you've been there for like a month. Like make a video of you talking to a camera and telling the camera like about what you've experienced. And then at the end of the year, make a video again because then you can really like hear the difference of like how you're Japanese or Spanish or Swedish or like how your improvements been. When, if Rotary offers to take you on a trip, even if you yeah, think it's go. boring, go, go with them. Go, Because they know what they're doing, but you know, it's good to go and experience what they do. Because yeah. it's Rotary and you're part of Rotary now, no matter what you do. You're yeah. part of Rotary. Sure. Don't be week. picky and don't complain. <laughs> I'm sorry, but like, like some people, some people complain a lot and, no, but some, some things you just have to like suck up and Try to handle like the best you can. If you're allergic to it, don't force it down. But oh yeah, yeah. make sure it. you tell your host family and Rotary Club what you're allergic to, because otherwise, it could be disaster. Yeah. Disastrous. <laughs> but make sure you tell them. And um, if you go to Japan, they'll be really, really super attentive if you tell them you're allergic to like shellfish, and they'll be super careful to not give you any. Yeah. Okay. In terms of skyping with back home, I have to say. I didn't do it. I didn't do it that much. I did <laughs> because I like I got there maybe a, like a week or two. I stepped with my parents the first week or two, and then after I completely stopped because I was like really lazy. Yeah, me too. So my parents got mad at me. But you know, send an occasional email to your parents just saying what you did. Yeah, they'll like, appreciate it. Yeah, like when your mom emails you those like mom like emails that are like I went and I bought milk today and it's just like shit you don't really care uh, about care that much about like just write her back and be like yeah okay nice I'm okay just like reply so they know that you've read it and if you're having a good time say so so your parents don't worry yeah because yeah. my parents are like oh, we don't know what you're that's doing also, uh, another advice is like talk to your host parents like when you get home like tell them about your day and like Tell them about your friends at school, like their names, and yeah. show them pictures so that they get to like know your friends because then it will be easier for your host family. If, if you're like, yeah, I want to go with my friends to Disneyland, it'll be easier for them to let you go because they feel like they have like a certain amount of like control. Like they, they know your friends through you. So make sure to like tell them about your friends. And, Become friends with your host siblings, because you yeah. never know what if they... If you have them. If you have them. You never know what they might, like, show you or, or do. Or, like, it's really nice when, at the end of the year, your host sibling uh, tells stories about you, funny <laughs> stories about cake and what you do. Because it's funny, because to you, your host, you are completely new to your host siblings, so they remember the smallest details about things you did or yeah. fu something funny that happened with you and them. So if you're friends with them, it just makes it that much easier. And then it's fun because you have fun with them and you feel like more family. Mm -hmm. So become closer friends with your siblings. Yeah. Like try to really show them like parts of your culture, like even if it's just like baking cookies from your like home country yeah. or your recipes bake oh if you're good at cooking even if you're not give it a shot like I made uh, my mom's recipe for macaroni and cheese like not the ch not like the typical everyone you can buy in a box but I made like my mom's recipe for them at dinner once and they were like it's so good and I kept making it for them because they loved it and, they yeah, just, and I made they I loved made, having it <laughs> and then I, I made cake for one of my house and I made meatballs for my host family with like brun sauce and they uh, were and they were so happy but they were like it's kind of salty you know like Swedish food is salty <laughs> but it was really nice I tried to cook lasagna once but I could like find the spaghetti <laughs> plate thingy so I had to lay down noodles and strings <laughs> oh my goodness it took so yeah, that's long, really but it hard it like, ended some, up good. like something that's really really common in your home country can be like really hard to find in the other country 
Don't be afraid to explore your surroundings. No, it's definitely. Like, go to the try supermarket. To go, yeah, try to go on walks. Like, just like take an evening if you're allowed. Like, take an evening walk or like walk with your parents. Your family. Yeah. And I know this sounds like really like existential. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's very like very you trying to be very like. What like, is the meaning of life? Yeah, not kind of like that, but like. I tried, if I was ever like bored or lonely or homesick, I just tried, <laughs> I tried to uh, be thankful for every, for just for the fact that I was in Japan on exchange. Like yeah. if I was riding my bike home and I felt a little bit sad because I missed someone back home or a friend or my parents or my cat, I would just like ride my bike and I would like look and I would be like, oh I love it, it's the birds are singing and I love the train tracks and I love the <laughs> <Yeah>. dirt <laughs> and I love the... I love my bike and I love the wind in my face and even when it was really cold and the make sure you smell everything too because uh, <laughs> sorry I noticed in, uh, I love the smell of Japan in the summer like I also my... think it's, it's important to for, for me it was really important to become good friends with the exchange students because like the days that I was in school and I felt kind of like out of place like it was nice to just like call like an exchange student and just be like, dude, I feel out of place today and I feel like this and this because they understand you. Like if you call someone back home and you tell them how you feel, they'll, they'll just be like, oh, it's okay, it'll get better. But they don't really know what you're going through. Or understand. they'll pretend to be like, yeah, I know, I, I know. understand. But they yeah. don't. It's Overdo a small it thing. It's it is the small things, things on exchange. Admire the grass, admire the smells, admire the food. Admire your host mom smile. It makes you feel really good if you help out, because otherwise I felt super guilty in the first two weeks because yeah. I didn't understand anything, I didn't know where anything was. Help. I was like, I want to help, but I, I can't. Yeah, Clean your like, room. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> try to do that. Clean your room. So yeah, like try to stay in the common areas. Like don't just go like after dinner. Don't just go to your room. But if you if you have like a laptop and you want to spend time on your laptop, like. If you're writing a blog or something, take the like write that in the common room, and, and don't use headphones or something. Just yeah, just be sit there, there so they can talk to you. Yeah, or if you have homework or if you want to study, just sit there. Like you don't necessarily like have to talk to them, but you just being there sends out a lot of like different signals than you just going to your room. Yeah. It took a lot of effort. Rotary is made of volunteers. No one yeah. gets paid to keep you, no. so. It's not your right to be an exchange student. You were chosen to represent your country and your family. Yeah. So you know, and keep, about like keep the, in contact with your like your Rotary Club at home too. If they want to know how you're doing. Oh, they love hearing about it. If you send them emails back home, your your sponsor Rotary Club loves to hear about what you're doing. So I just send them like a monthly email and stuff. If you come to Europe, have fun. Have fun. Try to like accept. The way we live, and like the things that might be really weird to you. Don't be offended no. easily. Just try to like understand, ask questions. Like when when they do something, like ask them like, oh, is this okay? Yeah. One of the worst things I can do is really like, in my home country, we do it like this. Yeah, that's, that, that's the Don't worst thing you that. can do. That's not a rule. Then, then they'll just say like, then go home to your own home country. Yeah. You're not there to do things like in your home country. You're yeah. there to do things in your host country. Yeah. Um, follow the rules. Watch TV. Oh yes. Watch a lot of TV. Uh, if it's, I mean, if that's what your host family does, because if they don't watch a lot of TV, don't be like, I want to watch TV now. <laughs> watch TV. Or no. maybe they do or don't watch TV at dinner time, and just do what they do. Because if they don't, then don't insist. <laughs> if they do, you know, watch it, listen, helps your listening skills, yeah. listen to music. And it also makes, like, um, the conversation at the dinner, because sometimes it can become kind of stiff, like, yeah. you're not really <laughs> sure what to talk about, but if you have the TV <coughs> on, like, it might be easier, because then you can ask, like, oh, what about, what's this, and, and then you can it, laugh and yeah. point, so. And listen, <laughs> improve your language, uh, listen to the Comfort. music of your host country, yeah. that'll yeah. help your language. Just practice the language as don't soon be as af- you get there. Don't be afraid to make mistakes. Like, like don't be like um, a perfectionist. Like, don't be like, oh, it's supposed to be she went, not she's went. Like, like just 
just say it, try, and yeah. let it be wrong, and eventually ask people to correct you. Because yeah. they Japan. probably won't. Well, or, or in Japan, they won't correct you. No, because it, they think it might offend you. But ask them. Yeah, say, like, is this them. right? Tell and them. Also, they won't be mad at you if you get something wrong, because most countries know that their language is very different from yours, and they'll be like, "Oh, she's trying. That's good. It's yeah. cool." Yeah. yeah. You find good and bad about your host and home country yeah. when you're on exchange. Don't be afraid to admit something's bad about yeah. your host, about your home country, and don't be afraid to make a mistake. Or, yeah. yeah. You know. But make sure you don't make a fool of yourself or be a asshole or. Be polite, be respectful. It's the rotary just, smile. Just nod and smile. If you're, yeah. yeah, if you don't understand, if you're having a bad day, nod and smile. Oh, I think that's it. Oh. Um, I'll make another video sometime. So, yeah. yeah. I hope you guys are enjoying these videos. I'm enjoying making them. Um, I enjoy I have, washing them. She watches them. Even though I've, a, I've been on exchange, change, she's it's still fun to look back. Yeah. 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 An avid watcher. Yeah, I, I'm a subscriber. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> Subscribe! It's always good. Give it a like uh, if you want more videos like this. I think I'll be doing a lot more, like, not interactive, but like interesting. Besides just talking to the camera. Like, it's kind of boring. What? So. What? You don't like it? No. <laughs> no, I mean, I mean, just me talking to the camera. So, yeah. see you guys soon. And again. Bye. Bye. Bye.